It's, it's taken more than a year, but just half an hour ago, Ford announced that it finally has a buyer for Volvo and that we may see a deal signed early in the new year. Bloomberg Zeb Eckert has been following the ups and downs of the story. He's got the latest for us from Hong Kong. Zeb? Eric, good morning to you. That's right. Well, the market's been waiting just about a year, as you said, for an agreement here, and it looks like we've got it. Ford today anticipating a definitive sale agreement to be signed in the first quarter of 2010 between Geely and Ford, obviously for Volvo. That deal, if all goes well, will close in the second quarter. Now, this depends, of course, on regulatory approval. And we're told uh, Geely spending about $2 billion to buy the unprofitable Volvo unit. That's a significant discount, about a third less than what Ford paid for Volvo a decade ago. Now keep in mind, back in October, Ford named Geely the preferred bidder, so we got a clue that these talks were on track. Also important to note here, this announcement saying Ford will continue to cooperate with Volvo after the sale, though it doesn't intend to retain a shareholding in the business uh, when this deal closes. Eric. Zeb, what do we know about Geely? This Chinese company doesn't currently sell cars, at least so far as I know, here in the West. Give us a sense of what this company is and what its goals are anyway. Yeah, Eric, well, Geely would like to begin selling cars there uh, in the West, and this Volvo uh, deal certainly uh, accelerates that plan. Geely is China's largest privately owned car maker. It has big ambitions beyond China. The company's controlled by Chinese mogul Li Shufu. He is the founder of Geely Group, which is a large enterprise. He started as a rice farmer, though, but now, as I said, he oversees the empire. It is an empire to be sure. Geely is listed here in Hong Kong. Year to date, the shares of the automotive unit are up five. 531 percent today alone here in Hong Kong shares of Geely Automotive rising more than 7 percent. Now the founder of Geely, Li Shufu, as we said, Eric, he's targeting about 66 percent of total sales to come from outside of China within the next six years. Of course, the message here to U.S. automakers, watch out. But uh, we'll see how this Volvo deal pans out again. It looks like it will close if all goes well by the second quarter of next year, Eric. Uh, Christmas present for Ford from China's Geely. That's Zeb Eckert reporting from Hong Kong.